Hello everyone and welcome to another OpenGL screencast. Today we will be talking a little bit about overlays. So we have a 3D scene and we want to do a slight 2D overlay um, onto that 3D scene. So just to give you a, um, a idea of what we're talking about here, let's go ahead and make this. And so we have an overlay. So that's pretty much it. So you can see there's our scene in the background. Got um, you know, animations going on, lights on and off, um, but the overlay is there. So, and we can rotate it around and the overlay stays in place. So that's what we're going to show you today, and let's walk right through it. So this is just the basic setup, just as always. Um, we added a few new, a uh, couple new variables, or one new variable. We're just turning on and off the overlay with the toggle. And I up that cube S as before to eight from the one um, toggle with the default cubes again to eight, and we have the overlay off right here. I also define this length function that quickly and easily determines the number of elements in an array, um, so you can use that in like for loops and such, which I'll show you. Initialization, we set that overlay. If we scroll down here to the initialize objects, here's our eight cubes, and we just set it to our cube object. Here's the O key for the overlay, turning it on and off. And um, when I go up here to draw cubes, I think, oh, here we go. Here's that length I was telling you about. So we just take the length of the cubes and draw each of them. So not a lot of change there. We also have that Venus overlay just to be used for um, um, for the bottom portion of the overlay. So if we look back again, this section down here, um, and that doesn't have to be textured. It could be anything. I just decided to show you that it can be textures and it can be doesn't have to be though. Um, a couple other things that I changed. I added this overlay and I, I changed this to be based on the height so depending on what's displayed it'll show up in the proper place. It's the overlay function which we'll get to. And So let's go right ahead and go into it. So like I said, it's just a, a 2D picture placed over a 3D scene, and by picture, it, I mean it doesn't have to be a picture, it doesn't have to be a texture, it can be anything here. So first thing we do is we check if the overlay is on, and if it is, we're going to disable lighting for it. So it shouldn't be affected by lighting, um, whereas the scene is. Um, first thing we want to do is we're going to use push attribute. So what this allows you to do is kind of like the push and pop matrix but it allows you to save off different um, um, bits, GL transform bit, enable bit. So this just says what is enabled, like GL lighting, GL blah blah blah, etc. And this is your matrix transformation. So this just saves each of those off. It's a, a great tool to use, and we're going to pop it at the end um, down here, just like normal. So um, pretty good thing to do. We're going to go into projection and push this and say, okay, we're in orthogonal mode after we load the identity, and we're making a 2x2 two two little cube. So we're 2x2, two two, uh, pretty much right in front of us. I'm going to switch over to the model view, and in here you see the vertices in the bottom section of our, our new cube. We're going to go ahead and set uh, a small little texture with the current texture, um, and this is the bottom half. So then we scroll down, we can set, set this with the colors gray for the background right now. And we have a, a bunch of different quads. So we have left, right, left overhead, right overhead, and the middle divider. So if we go back here and, you know, we stretch this out, we can go ahead and see there's the left and the right, and everything is, is in place like it should be. So um, that's pretty much it. And then we go ahead and pop these. We go back to the geo projection and pop that. And then we pop the attributes. And if lighting is on, we uh, re enable it. So um, that's pretty much the entire 
overlay. Um, one more thing that I wanted to show you um, is I had a bug in my reshape function. So if you saw just now, you know everything looks fine. You know with animation, lighting, etc. It doesn't look all funky. Well, I had for whatever reason I don't remember why I did this. I had the reshape function being called during the redisplay all, and not just the project. So project is called at the end of reshape. So this is what it used to be. Um, and so if you take a look here, it kind of freaks out and it doesn't get recentered accordingly. If we um, go ahead and turn on animation, uh, it still freaks out. You know, this is this is not in the overlay. It's not correct. So obviously a bug that we wanted to get fixed here. So change that back to just be project and not the reshape, which is already taken care of when reshape is called. So you know, this is a lot smoother, obviously. So that's pretty much it for this nice, short, and sweet. Um, hopefully, you could think of some cool things to overlay. If you want to do, like, a first-person shooter, you can do a, a, an easy overlay. It doesn't have to be 2D, but you can do, you know, uh, you know like this is, looks like it's inside of a car. So, you know, you have two windows or a Jeep or something. And you could do different, different types of things where you're flying through the air, driving, or other kind of first-person things and everything outside is 3D. So, you know, think about it, see how you can use it the best for you, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.